Hey, welcome back to the Spring Boots web application series. So, in the last video, we've seen how to add the, the category and the carousel, uh, the album of picture to your product. Then, we've seen how to process this uh, the, the, uh, this product to the database. So, in this video, I'm gonna try to implement this this discount of each product. So we will see how we're gonna implement this. Like uh, this product should have minus 25% discount, like this, minus 5%. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna implement this. So first of all, we will we will start by adding a class here, an entity, and we're gonna name it coupon or uh, or discount whatever coupon and it's gonna it's gonna be an entity entity uh just the basic thing like the ID it's gonna have the the ID and other stuff and uh, it's gonna have uh, an integer private private int and int or integer whatever permissive or a real in uh, an integer rapid integer so you keep it simple and uh, Work with just an the end primitive, so we're gonna name it discount account, and we need another thing which is private boolean boolean uh, is discount just to for the visualization, and this gonna be a transient. We don't want to persist this transient. Yes. And basic sitter and getter, just like the usual. Generate. And uh, We don't want to is discount. We don't want to return is discount. So we're gonna write this. Gonna get rid of the set setter here. And here if we're gonna write an if statement. If this discount discount not not equal to zero then then return true return true return true else return false false so simple as that. And now we need to link this discount with the products. We will do the same thing. It's just one to one, not one to many or anything. So it's gonna be and we're gonna add it here. Private private string. No, it's not the string, but coupon. And we're gonna name it discount. So, and it's gonna be one, one to one, one to one relationship. And uh, we're gonna see.
task card and we we can do all then fetch we're gonna keep, do the eager so each time we fetch the pro the product we fetch as well the, the it's discount so we can be able to show it here and uh, we need a setter indicator that's it discount so there it is and we go back to the HTML here we have the category and we will add something here so we have go to products so we have products category product picture and we add something here the discount or the coupon where we can add a discount or a coupon to a particular product so we go back here and we add another button here we name it and we name it open and we give it the name of coupon coupon discount discounts and we go down here in the bottom so this is it we can copy this whole thing here and just change the thing so copy this and go back here this gonna be not an album but a coupon add discount to products sorry we got we had a lot of typo here admin add picture to their product but we keep a discount discount we change it to a discount to p to product gonna be a pass we need we don't need this ink type because we're not posting any picture or any file product product name yes we need the product name here and here we don't need this so we need something like this and this can be input input gonna give it a type of a number because the discount is always a number here uh, always a number it's always a number here so I'm gonna keep it as a number and the class this is not a button so we get rid of this boost bootstrap classes it's a uh, form control or control as no tips submit and the rest of it give it a name name of Discount, discount. So that's it, I guess. And we need to add this implementation over here. And down here, uh, we need a post create a new method so we can add this the discount to the particular product 
we change it to the and this is going to take two things the product the product id product id and the discount public always return the string and the add discount product so it's gonna take two things just like this one We take the product ID, which is along, and here the discount instead of the quantity. Discount, and we name it discount. Discount. Open the curly braces and return. No, we need the product service and uh, save discount save products product product discount discount and it's gonna take two parameter which is id and discount here we go and return always redirect to the same page so we just copy past this we to implement this method which is here there is no need to return anything so as always we get the product so we have the product we create a discount. Discount. No, it's the class we name it. The class coupon. Create a coupon. And see new coupon. With the C set discount discount then P set 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 the product set discount so why set C not the object not the and product repository and save and save the products so we we'll run the application and see So, coupon and discount. We have only one product here because it only one product, which is give it this name. Of. So, for example, if we change, we choose this product and uh, we choose like five percent. And we do the submit, we get an error which is required long parameter ID is not present. I guess we 
product id product product id to each value which is here select product id yes we need this product id the name it's name of the parameter is a product id not just id missed it here so that's it let's uh, refresh over again put it I guess we we have it so the pro the ID is here and the discounts is five so Uh, we need like uh, the product ID here to add I'm gonna go ahead and delete this just to I want to see something products where is the discount and uh, I'm gonna add join column I'm gonna name it name. product ID. So By the way, I'm, uh, I'm setting the database to the configuration of the database to always update. So whenever I change something here, the world database gets updated if the model changes, the entity cha have changed. So that's why. Uh, if we, let's see if we got the, no, I guess we got it in the wrong side. So product ID here. We need to anyway. It doesn't matter. We can just get rid of it. We can just get rid of it since the product is the end side of the relationship one to one. So it doesn't matter. So that's it for this video and the in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at like a bottom here to change this discount whenever or delete this discount or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do in the next video. So for example this need to be fixed as well for example also this so in the next video we're gonna fix this bottom because uh, I get this error because I changed a little bit of the implementation of the of the whole thing over here so in the next video i'm going to fix th this and uh, start implementing th these things here linking this view here with the actual product we have in the database so that's it and uh, see you in the next video